In this video, I'll be walking you through the process of creating a badge in Google Drawings. If you've not yet created a badge, I encourage you to do so as you watch this video. Pause the video after each step and try to complete that step on your own, then continue. If you want a little extra practice, you can always play the video again as many times as you like. In Drive, click on the New button and scroll all the way down to More. From the pop-out, select Google Drawings. Let's give our file a name that describes it. In this case, I'm creating a badge to reward good effort and attitude, so I'm calling it the Mega Power Badge. If I change the name later, I may think of a better one. Maybe I decide I like the word energy better than power. In that case, I can just double click on a part of the file name and edit it, and everything will save automatically to Drive. There we are. Okay, let's draw a circle, nice and simple. You can use any of the shapes in the menu, but not all of them are going to make a good badge. After picking the circle, you draw it by clicking and dragging it to the size you want. And this will give you an oval, which you can then drag out to size by pulling on the little handles on the sides. You'll get a red line when you reach the edge of the canvas. If you hold down the Shift key while you're sizing a shape, it locks the vertical and horizontal dimensions so that you get a perfect circle or a perfect square. Here we are, but this is smaller than I want it to be. That's okay because if I drag the sides out to the edge of the canvas, my circle will be exactly the size that I want. I want a nice blue color for the main part of the badge. There we are. And I'm going to make the border just a little darker. And while I'm at it, I'll make the border a little thicker as well. That looks nice. Now I want some kind of image in the badge. Uh, energy. Um, in the images, there's a lightning bolt somewhere. There it is. That's good for energy. So we're going to click and drag this the same way we did for the circle. There we are. Get it sized just right. And we'll use the same procedure to fill in the middle part and color the border. Default shapes in Google Drawings are good for any kind of basic badge, but what if you want an image that you've created or downloaded yourself? Well, if you drop the Insert menu down and select Image, or just click the Image icon in the toolbar, you can select the image that you want, and there we are. Voila, there it is. Now we're going to go back to the lightning bolt image that we had before, just for illustrative purposes. And this next part is very important if you want your badges to look really nice. When you create a new image in Google Drive, it will have a white background. And this background becomes part of the badge if you paste it anywhere, and that really doesn't look like a badge. It looks more like a drawing of a badge on a piece of paper pasted onto something. So we're going to right click on the background and set it to transparent. That's going to look much better. And we're done. We have a nice badge that we can now uh, save and add to our collection. If you didn't open drawings from your badges folder, just drag it into that folder now. Whatever folder you create it in uh, is where it will appear, but you can drag it anywhere you like. And we now have it in our badges folder. There it is. You've made your first badge. Congratulations.